Okay, great. Now we're into part two of the user interface. And what we're going to do here is we're going to make some changes to the options, or as some people used to think of them as preferences, okay? Things like um, the command line and maybe we want the background color to be different, how we want our mouse to work. Uh, any kind of interaction like that is usually worked up through options okay so we're going to open the options dialog box and the quickest way to do that is to come down and put your mouse in the command line and then right click and you're going to see the word options right here in this small menu so we'll pick on that and this brings up the options dialog box and this dialog box has many different tabs and what we're going to do is we're going to start with the display tab all right, now the first thing I'm going to do in the display tab is I'm going to uncheck these uh, shortcut keys here for tooltips, and I'm going to also uncheck extended tooltips. Uh, what that is, is that uh, there are extra tooltips that when your mouse hovers over a command, it will show you kind of like a mini help file. Now if you want to keep those two on, feel free, but for the tutorial I like to keep them off so that these little windows don't keep popping up. Alright, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to colors and I'm going to pick on that word colors and this is where you can change the color of your background. Now I personally like a white background many people like a black or gray background so uh, if you want to keep yours black that's fine um, but I'm gonna change mine to white so if you want to kinda make sure you follow along with me you can do the same alright so I'm gonna pick apply there and you'll notice the background changes automatically alright the next thing I'm gonna change is the font on the command line because the font on the command line right now is very small and we look at that often that's where the computer communicates with us alright so let's pick on fonts and I like the font called Lucida console and I'm gonna keep the font regular but I'm gonna bring the size up to 14 and I'm gonna pick apply and close and if you look down at the command line you'll notice that the font now is much bigger and easier to read okay so that's it for the display tab um, the next tab that we're gonna take a look at is we're gonna go all the way over to the user preferences tab okay now in the user preferences tab we're going to change a little bit about how the mouse works. So we're going to pick on right click customization, meaning the right click for the mouse. Okay. And we're going to pick at the very top here, turn on time sensitive right click. All right. And I'm going to change the duration of that from 350 milliseconds, I'm sorry, from 250 to 350 milliseconds. Okay and I didn't mean for that to go away so I'm just gonna click on that again alright and what this does now this is important um, when you right click your mouse quickly uh, which you will do often in AutoCAD because uh, AutoCAD needs an enter for most things and right click on the mouse means enter if you hold the mouse down for a little while 350 milliseconds as it says then a shortcut menu usually will pop up okay so you're gonna hear me quite often in these tutorials say right click and if I say right click I usually mean to do it quickly okay so that it will mean enter alright so let's pick apply there and let's see I think also in this same tab we're gonna come down to line weight settings and I want us to change the line weight setting from millimeter to inches um, used to using inches so we're gonna click on that and we're gonna pick apply there alright the next tab we're gonna come over to is the drafting tab um, and the other thing I want to change in here is the color of the auto snap marker okay and that right there it's a green we're gonna pick on colors here and we're gonna change it from green over here to magenta pick apply and close and that will change that color to magenta alright it doesn't seem to reflect it here but it will when we start drafting okay um, the next thing we're gonna come over to is 3d modeling 
okay? And under 3D modeling, um, we are going to not look at the view cube, and the view cube is over here. Now this is great if you're doing 3D, but we're not going to be doing 3D, we're going to be in two-dimensional working drawings, which are probably the most popular drawings that people make. So we're going to um, make that view cube invisible by coming over here and unchecking that. And we're also going to uncheck this display viewport controls. Okay, so we'll uncheck those two. And then we're going to come up to the selection tab. Uh, and in this tab, we're going to change the size of the pick box. So I want you to slide this little bar over one little increment there, okay? Um, I think that the pick box is a little bit too small, but we also don't want it too big, so I like to just move it over one or two increments, okay? Now, um, I think in here we're pretty good, so let's come down and pick Apply. We're going to pick OK, and now we have changed some of the options which when we come across them, I'll explain each how they work to you at that time. All right, so stay tuned for the last part of the user interface.